What up, and it's John Chabot, IBS Kelso, coming back with another MX Bikes banger. Now, before you adjust your phone brightness to change the monitor settings, yes, I am black, and we're playing a dirt bike game. Today, we are here at Rakashima. I believe it's Rakashima Circuit. I was happy enough to get this track way earlier than uh, when it is released. I believe it's going to be coming out here soon. Guys, stay tuned. But uh, thank you so much, Taurus Usanio, for actually giving me this track early. That being said, I guess they just really enjoyed my... Um, er it was Erwin Ardienza. Yeah, Ardi Erwin Ardienza uh, motor cross academy i did do a track review for them then um so yeah they were happy enough to say hey thank you so much for doing our track here's a, another track we're coming out with very soon so yeah i'm gonna be covering he did say to rock a smaller bike maybe a 125 because it is a smaller track you know me man i need as much practice as i can with a 250 so i thought i'd hop on a suzuki then you know since it's not as much top speed but more about the torque at the low end so that's what we'll do also shout out to sentinel suspension and capitan for testing this bike out for me and actually delivering it uh, if you guys all know who sentinel suspension is description will be down link will be to their discord down in the description below they are my suspension uh sponsor and yeah kind of just cover up all my bikes um yeah i can't i can't say like i i actually enjoy this track a lot now i did ask them when i came on here i did ask them for a new file i think that hopefully maybe they'll come out with it just in case you guys want to hear it but uh since the indonesian track uh they have like indonesia announcer um and they actually have like the moto live like because this is an actual place like it's an actual circuit so rakashima is a really good circuit that is in indonesia uh indo yeah i believe i believe so don't quote me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure that's what he said and they actually have like a live race going on in the background on their speaker but i asked them to turn it off for you know so i can actually make a video purposes maybe it'll come out for speaker speaker off thing but so far track is not that long um and i think it's like really worthy for an elimination race to be honest with you like <laughs> this track is actually really fun i think it's nice tight and like almost like a delit like some of these corners would be demolition derby worthy you know like you're like holy cow like we're, we're about to try to make a full turn and bikes are going to go flying and i believe it's like maybe more than 24 gates so that's something really cool like i said it's, not, it's like a really easy cookie cutter track this is really could be a beginner track just for you to get the flow down to be honest and especially if you guys want to you know you little rippers <laughs> shout out to ricky carmacko you little you want to see your little ripper <laughs> oh man but yeah you know gra grab a nice little 125 maybe a two stroke or something like that maybe yeah even a pit bike maybe you know and just kind of come rip i think this would be a fun track but yeah, so far this Suzuki feels absolutely amazing. I actually was testing it out for Supercross and I, I kid you not, ladies and gentlemen, you might see me start riding this bike on stream for some Supercross. This thing feels absolutely planted and it's got a lot of pop. So I'm very, I'm very curious if the new OEMs that are gonna come out are gonna keep this bike upgraded or make it even worse, but hopefully they don't tarnish it because honestly, I wanna give this thing a go. I know it's like, we're like maybe a few days away from the new OEMs actually dropping. But yeah, anybody that's new to this channel as well, man, you guys never experienced what we do. Man, I'm, I'm gonna say like, I'm not huge on track reviews, but so far lately, I've been loving track reviews. I've been loving people just wanting to send me tracks and kind of just review them and everything that's been coming out, man, just been some banger tracks. So I thought, why not just get into the mode of, you know, having fun and trying all these tracks. I think I have a good like personal, like personal time of like just talking to y'all, kind of just talking about life, dude. You know, Christmas is right around now, Kona. Chris right around that corner, man. If you guys haven't picked up a PC or, you know, got this game yet, it is $35 and a PC only. So any new people out there that's wondering what this game is, it's an absolute dub. Um, Taurus is saying, you know, I can't say, like, this This track feels amazing. This is something for you to, like, get your feet wet. This is definitely a good beginner track as well. Like, not, not a lot of rough, just kind of just ripping laps, you know? Ripping, ripping and gripping, to be honest. So I got to say it's actually really 10 out of 10. Probably, probably a lower... You know a smaller bike would have actually done i think a 450 might be overkill but it's actually pretty sick i think like the biggest thing for for me is that um tracks are like this is really huge for a lot of new community like a lot of new people coming into the community that wants to you know work on the craft but not have to worry about too much of a rough you know rough setting of a track and this right here is just something for you to have fun maybe get on with the boys and get a little ripperuski in yeah but I want to do thank everybody for the support. We are literally on the road to 5,000 subs uh, within my first year of doing YouTube. I think my first year mark hits January 24th. So we're, we're, we're pushing. I think we're good on pace right now to hit um, 5,000 subs before that. Um, so all I got to do is just keep grinding out. I want to appreciate everybody that comes out to all my uh, all my all my streams. Um, I think that's usually where we like 
spend the most time of having those just a good community bond if you guys haven't checked out one of my streams like i i do think it's worth it i do think it's a fun time we definitely do a lot of elimination races motocross supercross just a good time man a good vibe and um yeah i mean from there on out you know what, what else can we get into about the track i mean another indonesian like track which i would say is pretty great the first one was actually really cool it was sand and this one's not sand it's more dirt and I don't know, I really never really heard of, of like, Taurus Susania. I never really heard of you guys bringing out tracks. I don't know, like, how many tracks you guys have done, but so far within the last two weeks or a week, you've literally banged my line again for another track. So keep cranking them out, man. I promise you I'm going to keep delivering, dude. I thank you so much for allowing me to ride this track early. Like, it's a dub. Like, I feel like I'm just putting down laps. Like, it's probably not the most entertaining thing for if you guys are like, eh, well, you know, it doesn't, it just looks wide open. Probably not for more of the pro scene. But like I said, we are getting an influx of new players every day onto MX Bikes. So this is something for you if you're really trying to work on your settings. You're trying to work on your, on your, you know, comfortability on a bike, your throttle control. Kind of wide open, but also trying to take, um, you know, do your corner speed. Because you really can actually rail this corner to the best of your ability and bug it out, you know? You know thugging and, and rugging <laughs> so with that being said you know really really push it to the limits try your bikes out you know get your lickies and chewies but right now i'm running a 117 could be running a 116 i'm trying to beat my ghost here for some reason in this section he's honestly cooking on me there we go that's not bad get a fourth gear get fourth gear pulling back scrub a Ooh. there we go ah yeah, I really like it. Like I said, like this this track's very cookie cutter and easy peasy running and going. I feel like it's like almost technically one line, but at the same time, like you don't really don't need a lot of lines. It's just kind of putting down your laps, getting warm up. You know, a lot of people understand that. You're just good warm up tracks, you're just good race tracks, and you're just good like you know, like like just practice. You know, get you know getting your your speed down packed. And I, I would say this is a good practice track. Very small, maybe even. I would say for a bigger bike, it's very pass practice. Like, as you can see, I'm trying to just like go all around, but maybe for a 250, which they did tell me, I mean, this a two stroke, you know, a smaller bike, which they did tell me to go on. And I kind of like went, <laughs> went against their word. It's, it's to where it's honestly, it might be a little bit more fun, you know, be able to just rail completely, have a little bit more fun, you know, actually fill the bike with a two stroke. And I gotta say like, I feel bad for not coming on here, but I did want to give the Suzuki, they want to give the Suzuki a try and man, I'm loving it. So shout out to Capitan, shout out to uh, Sus uh, Sentinel Suspension. This is a really good bike right now and it's kind of ripping this dirt course. Ripping huge. I feel like I can get lower than a 117. I know I got a 116 in me. And it's about to be right here. Oh yeah, knew it. Also, you guys are new to the channel and new to MX Bikes, man. Make sure to go check out my settings video. I just dropped going into 2024. Um, I think I think it's gonna be viable. I think it's gonna be worth it. I did run a 116.6. I think it's really worth it for anybody that's new, even if you're not new. But I have some really good insight for anybody that's anywhere from zero hours to maybe 200. If even that, it might be helpful for people right now that's doing bad settings. You know. Um, I try my best. I'm probably not the best source to go to for a lot of things, but at the end of the day, like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like cheat, cheat you out and like, I guess like hold in within hold information. You know, if when I know something, you know, you guys are gonna know it. And that's just how I like to, how I like to do it around here. So, you know, you may not like me, but you go and respect me straight up. And if you don't respect me, you can't be around, bro. Trust, like I, I it, it's not gonna break my bank. It's not gonna hurt me. <laughs> You know, it's not. It's, I'm going to look at it, take a bit of grain of salt, and keep moving on with my day, man. Internet internet is a crazy, wonderful place. But this bike is killing on this track, dude. Once again, this is Rakashima Circuit. Will be on the MX Bikes Mods page soon. Like I said, I don't really have a set date yet, but when it does, I will update and put the link down in the description below. Um, so far as a W, like, this is, this is absolutely sicko mode. Like... Just ripping and gripping. I don't know. I don't even know what else to talk about. Like, I know the preview bikes are. I mean, the preview bikes are out. Um, I previously said, oh, I ran a 115. Let's go. I keep just dropping my time. I know I said why I don't want to do, uh, you know, ride those preview bikes. I want to stay super entertained and excited for when they do come out because the game rarely gets updates. So you know, you gotta you gotta look forward to it to the best of your ability. You can't spoil any of the uh, any of the fame around here. You spoil you spoil those 
spoil the fun things coming out, man. You test it too early, or then early, then you're just like, eh, I got nothing to look forward to. You don't even want to play the game. So you, you gotta cherish them. And I already know that even no matter if I ride the preview bikes or not, I'm gonna keep playing the game. I'm still gonna keep grinding them out. So. I'm looking forward to it. I'm waiting, dude. I'm as, as excited as ever. I've seen a lot of people have been playing with them. I mean, I've been I've been watching the insight, but do I do I want to use them myself? Nah, man. I'm just gonna I'm gonna tough it out. So hopefully here in the next few days we'll be straight and we'll be uh vibing. We'll be definitely vibing. That being said, well, yeah, we're not probably gonna touch those factory bikes anytime soon. I do apologize. I know a lot of people get come on my streams like, are you gonna ever put the factory bikes on? No, I'm not. It's just like I'm not ready for arcade riding or easier riding, and you shouldn't be either unless you're literally running championships. Like, you know, I don't know. That's just my own personal opinion. And I feel like a lot of people that do say they like the factory bikes, like, more than the OEM is because it came from, like, and you can let me know. You let me know. If you're one of those people that like the factory bikes more than you like the, uh, the OEMs, it's probably because you came from, like, Legends or Reflex, you know? You came from an arcade game, and you wanted to try, and then you realize that the OEM bikes are literally super hard to get used to because they are a simulation. You know, they, they try to at least, and then when you get on the, you know, factory bikes are a little bit more forgiving, a little bit more easy to ride, and it's like, okay, this is something I use, I am very used to when um, when I just get came off of Legends. So, I definitely recommend to give this bike some more. And all the OEMs, they're, they're just right where they're at. Holy cow. <laughs> Holy cow. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, dude. This is uh, Rakashima. Um, Rakashima Circuit. Thank you so much, Susanyo, for literally giving me this track early and uh yeah be on the lookout thank you guys so much and i'll catch you all in the absolute next one it's your boy ibs kelso pop 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 pop